Okay, so welcome. Uh, so my name is Hung Nguyen. I'm a, uh, I will be the instructor for this uh, 171 stochastic processes. So probably you already uh, uh, took a look at the, uh, the syllabus. Uh, just a couple of things I guess I, I need to, 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 to emphasize. Uh, remember to go to the TA discussion. Uh, uh, the, the, the TA discussion is required and uh, the attendance will be counted towards your course grade. Um, and for the homework, every problem of the homework must be uh, turned in. If you miss one, problem in the homework, then the whole assignment is uh, zero. So, okay. So every problem must be turned in. Um, what else do you wanna say? I guess uh, that should be it. Is there any question about the, uh, the syllabus? Nope. All uh, right, so, so uh, this is the textbook that, that we are going to use. Uh, the test book is actually available online. So you don't have to buy it. You don't have to. It's available online. Uh, and I have the link in the syllabus provided by the author, a professor in Duke. So there's no need to buy the book. Um, but the just in case, just in case. All right. Uh, am I clear enough, I guess? Yeah. I understand I have a, a thick accent which it could be tough to understand from time to time. Um, uh, but uh, I try to write down everything on the board. All right, so stochastic uh, processes. So the, uh, so I guess I should do some, I should uh, give a, uh, a brief introduction, I guess. Uh, so uh, stochastic uh, processes. Uh, basically this, uh, what is this? Uh, this is uh, a, uh, a model, say, a model for, for um, uh, random, or random, uh, I should say random phenomenon. Phenomenon, okay. Uh, that evolves over time. Uh, here we could even either have, uh, say, a discrete or uh, say uh, continuous time. So what, the, what are these model uh, doing? So the, the, the ultimate goal, I would say, so the ultimate goal is, is to predict the, uh, the future, basically. So that's all I, I really care about. When I, whenever I observe a, uh, a, a, a phenomena in reality, what I wanna know is what will happen in the future. Basically, so so that is really the ultimate goal here. Like, if I if I have COVID, will I die? For example. So, uh, all right. So that should be it. Okay. So before I, uh, we 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 move on to the uh, section one point one, let me do let me mention a uh, a recall. A recall of uh, the so-called conditional probability. Conditional probability. Let me double check on my uh, show. Uh, okay, so I have to move the camera. All right. So, uh, so that, the, the, there's no need to, to, to actually write anything uh, because the recording will be posted later on onto uh, to COLE. So you should not worry about uh, missing any, uh, missing any uh, uh, material. So there's no need to worry about that. All right, so recall a, uh, the probability of an event A given the event B, right? By definition, this is given by the probability of A and B uh, divided by the probability of B, right? 
so that means basically suppose i'm given a uh, event b and let's say an event a right here and a given b basically i will look into this uh set b and am among the b i will focus on the piece where a occurs so that piece right here is something. So I'm pretty sure you have seen this before. I'm pretty sure uh, from 170A or E or. <clears throat> and uh, we will have the law of uh, law of total probability, uh, namely uh, given given what given a event a and a sequence and a sequence of events say b1 say b2 uh, just that just that uh, the sequence of b i say is what is uh, they are uh, uh, disjoint right disjoint and uh, it's also then we have what then we have the uh, probability of a can be decomposed into uh, the summation of probability of uh, a intersection b i right where the uh, summation running on i and if i decompose say further uh, I could go even further, say, uh, like this. A given B, I, and then probably up here. And the first equality is basically coming from the fact that the B, I, they are joined and they, they form the whole probability space. So here I have an A here. Inside of A, I could compose to say B1, uh, B2, uh, say Bn, and probably all the way, right? So this is uh, for the first equality. And the second equality is just uh, basically the definition of uh, conditional probability. So definition of conditional probability. Right, so uh, pretty. Uh, so it could be a while ago, but uh, along the way, uh, we will uh, recall whenever we need to 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 to, to uh, refresh our memory. So, but uh, for now, uh, should be the two two points that I want to uh, discuss first. All right, so let's move on to. Uh, to uh, probably section 1.1. So I guess chapter one, uh, Markov. Okay. So the main uh, ingredient to, uh, to, to model random phenomenon evolving over time. <clears throat> so to give a, uh, to give a, a, a motivating example, a motivating uh, example. Okay, before I talk about the, uh, the, the rigorous uh, definition of Markov chain, uh, let me give a, uh, an example. I believe this is example 1.1 in the first book. Uh, let me double check. Let me double check. Sometimes I remember the... Uh, right, so the glam, uh, gambler ruin. But uh, so suppose I have a game as following. So, so suppose we have a game. Uh, so, uh, so I say uh, in each game, all right. So either I'm gonna win, either I'm gonna win uh, just one dollar, 
uh, with probability probability point uh, four, or I'm gonna lose uh, one dollar uh, with the probability uh, say uh, point four, so that would be point six. So only two outcomes. So kind of like a uh, a Bernoulli random variable, right? <clears throat> and uh, uh, say suppose uh, let me start let me start the the uh, start the game say maybe I shouldn't say start the game say I uh, initially initially uh, say uh, have say walk into the casino in my pocket I have say three dollars right and so then I keep playing the game basically of course if I get uh, if I end up with zero then I have to walk out of the casino Right. If I have no more money, they're gonna walk out. Say, uh, uh, say, if uh, so, let me denote uh, by say, say, denote x of n to be the total cash after uh, say playing uh, total n games, right? So, for example, uh, the the uh, procedure could go as following: say, uh, let's say, let's say, so this is uh, say time. In other words, uh, games. Hey, right. So time zero, I have uh, say three dollar. This is the total cash. Total cash, right? So let's say after playing one game, I uh, somehow I, I I lose one dollar. So so either I could go up, right? So either I could win win one dollar, or I would lose lose one dollar, right? So there are only two outcomes. Let's say for the first uh, game, I would just uh, lose. So yeah, just lose one dollar. All right, so I will jump to here. Okay, then I keep playing. I uh, say so after the second game, I say bad luck. I keep losing. Lose one dollar, right? So that means uh, in this situation, x two now is only equal to one, right? And I guess I should say, I'd say x zero is three, x one is two, right? So now, given this event, so now given this event, I want to evaluate the, uh, my total cash after playing game number three. So given I uh, say uh, x two is one, x one is two, and uh, x zero is three. All right, so say uh, I want to evaluate this uh, probability, right? I want to evaluate that probability. And so if you look at the graph, you will see immediately if I want to go up at, at uh, the time number three, uh, sorry, I shouldn't go that far, just uh, up to two. So if I want to go up, that means I have to, I have to win, right? If I am right here, I want to go up, to two, that means I got to win. I got to win one dollar, and so immediately you will see this is basically is equal to uh, the chance of winning, which is uh, 0. 0.4. 0. 0.4. Right. So technically, I would just say technically, if I want to stick with the definition of uh, conditional probability, I have to do what? I have to do uh, a uh, intersection between this event and that event divided by that. However, uh, in this very simple situation, we see immediately that the chance to go up to two right uh, now will have to be just 0.4, all right? Uh, so pretty intuitive to see it. 
So that's one situation. But now, what if I don't tell you about the uh, all the the, the 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 games I have played? I only tell you the current moment. So that means what if? Let's say now I have so time. So this is a uh, time gameplay number two, game number three. At game number two, I am at one dollar. Right here. Okay. This is two. All right, so I want to jump up to here. So in this situation, that means I want to evaluate the probability of total cash after playing game number three is two given after playing up to game number two, I have a one dollar. Right. The probability now will be what is that probability? It's two point four, right? It's two point four. So uh, pretty clear that uh, if I want to go up, I got to win uh, one dollar with a point four probability. So uh, what is the point that I want to say here? The point here is that the past is irrelevant in order to know where to go next. All, all really matters is only the present. Oh, thank you. Uh, all right, so, so, so that is one point. Uh, so the goal, uh, so, 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 so the, the point here is the past is actually irrelevant. Uh, relevant all right so i don't really need to know uh these uh these uh, uh past events i don't need to know them all i need to know is just the, the current moment the game number two and from there i can determine uh where to go next all right the second point that I want to say is, so that is first point. The second point is now, suppose now I play already up to say game, uh, game number nine, all right? And say after game number nine, uh, I still, I have somehow I have $1, all right? Then this is say game number 10. So whatever in the past here, whatever they could be, up to game nine, I already have up uh, just to one dollar. So now, if I want, they have two dollar, and that means I have to win one dollar here, right? So the probability of total cash after playing ten games is equal to two, given up to game number nine, I or I have uh, one dollar, right? What is that probability? Still point four, right? Still point four. Still point four. All right. So what, what is the, the point here? So the so the point here is that the time is actually irrelevant. What really matters here is the value, is the cash value, right? So the cash value determines the uh, basically determines the the probability, not really the time, right? So this is, so I would say, so the, the, the point here is time is, uh, I, should, I shouldn't say is, uh, well, so I guess it is relevant to uh, determine, determine the uh, next step, I should say, next step probability okay i shouldn't say time is totally irrelevant i shouldn't say that but this is relevant to determine the next step probability okay so uh, these two points basically give me the the definition of a uh, oh i guess you, should i keep this uh, uh so maybe maybe so let me move it up So let me give the first definition. Uh, definition of a uh, Markov chain. 
the Markov. Okay. The first thing I'm gonna need is the uh, the cash value, right? So, so that means I need a space given a say a discrete uh, state space denoted by s, all right? To think about s being the the, the cash value, all right? Um, a sequence of a sequence of uh, random variable uh, labeled as uh, say uh, x naught, x one, x two, all the way up to infinity uh, is called a discrete work of chain. If the following is so. following uh, whole. The first one is the, uh, the, the, the irrelevant uh, past, namely, I say maybe you just say this definition one, A, uh, for, for uh, what, for uh, any values, or oh, so, oh, I guess I is, so I should say, I should say over here, taking value in S, Taking values in S. All right. So part A given as let's say a uh, a sequence of uh, elements, say uh, I not I one a lot up to I n plus one uh, are values in S. The following holds probability of the next step being equal to i and plus one, given the whole uh, past trajectory up to current moment n, so i n, uh, x1 is i1, x0 is um, i0, right? So this pro conditional probability is basically equal to the probability of x n plus one equal to i n plus one, given the present, and namely x n is i n. All right. Okay. Uh, this is so called the uh, Markov property. I should give a name. Uh, do I have any uh, other call? Hmm. All right, so this is the so-called the Markov problem. Right. So that is part A. Now part B is the uh, the time being uh, irrelevant. Maybe just let me erase this, maybe. Or uh, I guess I'm going to do that later on. So part B is actually the so-called time uh, time uh, homogeneity. So homogeneity, uh, namely, namely, uh, given given uh, any say i and j values in S. All right, and uh, any time time n, all right. Then the conditional probability of x m plus one is equal to, to, to uh, j conditioned on x n is equal to i, all right. This uh, probability is the same, say, the same as say x one is equal to j, given that I start from i. All right, so for all n, so I should say given any that and for all n, I guess. Okay, for all n. And I'm gonna denote this 
as the following P, I, and J. All right. So the next step is only determined based on the values of I and J in S. It doesn't depend on the time. So that is, uh, so, so, so for the sake of completeness, let me mention uh, this PIJ here is called, so definition number two. Uh, so given, given a Markov chain, given a Markov chain, uh, say uh, XN, right? And uh, the, uh, the PIJ, of course, this is a basically kind of like a matrix uh, for all IJ in S is called the uh, transition matrix. Transition uh, matrix for the chain uh, XLA. Any questions so far? Any? So I guess I, I should mention, uh, so these, these are the assumptions for a model. And of course, say in reality, there could be phenomenon where the past does matter, right? There could be such situation. Then, then uh, how do we do in that situation? The answer is, uh, depending on the, the case, uh, there will be a way to convert to a Markov chain, but the, that is complicated. Okay, that is for part A. And for part B, so you may want to ask, what if uh, for that there could be the case where uh, the the the, uh, the next step does depend on the time. Right, you could be asking such a question. And the answer is typically those uh, time in homogeneity, uh, those situations are kind of rare, kind of rare in reality. And if they do occur, then the analysis is extremely difficult, extremely difficult. And uh, even at a, a research level, okay. And so for the, uh, the scope of this course, we only focus on this time homogeneity, okay? All right. So now let me come, uh, go back to, to, to this example again. So uh, let me go back to that example 1.1. It's the example one again. Uh, Okay. So suppose now if I uh, assume the fur further rule, let's say suppose, suppose I stop playing, stop playing if either the total cash is either say a rig to say, uh, say, say $5, all right, or $0. So if I get up to $5, then the casino will kick me out. But if I get zero, then I have to leave, right? So I stop playing either my, my cash is either zero or five, all right? So now how do I basically model this, uh, this, uh, this uh, gambling uh, situation? So, so now my state space is, uh, so from zero, one, two, three, four, and five. Okay. So this is my state space. The possible cash values I could have uh, playing this game. And uh, if, again, if I denote again, Xn is the uh, total, so total cash. Uh, so total cash uh, after 
play one game, oh, sorry, uh, n games. Then we can observe immediately that the, uh, so, 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 so basically the probability of Xn plus one is equal to say I plus one, conditioned on the current moment. So, uh, conditioned on the current moment, I have I dollar. This is, this will be, uh, so that will be uh, four. And, uh, and uh, so, so, so uh, similarly, the probability I have uh, I uh, minus one is, is equal to 0.6. This is given, given that I is less than, uh, less than five, between zero and five, right? This is between uh, zero and five. And uh, so, in other words, uh, say from zero to five, right? So, this is n and plus one. Say i is something in the middle. So, let's say uh, i here, right? Then either I go up to i plus one or I go down to i minus one. This with probability uh, 0.4, this is probably 0.6. And if I am already at five, and if I'm already at five, in other words, Xn plus one given Xn is already $5, then I will have to stop playing. In other words, the next step, the value I can only take is always five because I already get out of the casino with probability one. And similarly, if uh, I have zero dollar, then I got to stop playing as well. So the next value I could take has to be zero too. And this will happen with probably one, all right? If that makes sense, right? And the, uh, so in order to, so I need to have this uh, matrix. I need to maybe, maybe let's just move this up. This is the... All right, so the matrix now is basically, I have a state space is from zero to five. So P I J is given as follow, uh, zero, one, two, three, four, and five. Zero, one, two, three, four, five, All right? So if I am at zero, I can only move to zero with for sure one, uh, probably one. So this is one and from zero, I cannot go to wherever. Right. If I am, if I have one dollar, then I could either go up to two or go down to zero. So I will go up to two with a 0.4, or go down to zero dollar. Right. So that would be the rest is zero. Right. And you can kind of guess uh, the next uh, row is pretty much uh, pretty much similarly. So zero here, zero, zero, zero. From $2, I can go up to three with 0.4 probability or go down to one with 0.6. And I guess a similarly, all right, so, so I guess zero here, uh, zero, zero, 0 0.6, 0 0.4, uh, 0 0.4, six, zero. And lastly, if I have $5, I can only stay at five with probably one, okay? Yeah.
So that's one way to 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 uh, visualize the, uh, the the Markov chain in this situation. The other one is a so-called a, a diagram. Uh, diagram. So 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 uh, roughly. Let me keep this. So the next one is we can use a, a diagram as following. So I'm going to list all my state uh, as possible states here. So from zero, one, two, three, uh, four, and five. Okay. So if I am at zero, I can only stay at zero forever. So we do uh, the arrow like this with probably one. Okay. And uh, from one, I could go down to zero or go to two. So we go like this. We draw like this. This is point four. This is point six. From two, I could go down to one or up to three. So go down here. Uh, well, I guess it doesn't seem like a nice way to sketch the uh, diagonal. So maybe let me keep this, uh, this arrow like this. So this is uh, point six, point six, and this is uh, point four, point four, four, point four, and at five it is one, All right? So that is another way when you look at the 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 the, uh, the diagram, you can see how the the the, the how to determine the next step. With the corresponding probability. Okay. So, so now I already uh, model my uh, my my games, right? I already have a model for my games. So, what is the question that I'm I am ultimately uh, interested in? You walk to a casino. What do you care? Tell me. Sorry? You walk to a casino. What do you care? So in the long run, right? In the future, what is my money, right? How much do I get? So basically, uh, say let's say let's say let's say the question that I am interested in. Suppose I am a uh, optimistic person. I would like to know probability that eventually, eventually, do I get a uh, five dollar, get rich and go home. That is one interesting question I would like to ask. On the other hand, if I am being, uh, say, pessimistic, I would like to know what is the probability I get broke eventually. Broke. Right. So that so they are questions about the future, and uh, we will answer those later on. Not not right now. Okay, so but I want to give you guys a flavor of, of the, the uh, interesting questions that we can ask and basically all we care about is the future, basically. Right. So that is uh, one situation allow me to 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 uh, let's say uh, allow me to mention another model that probably you have heard about. Uh, so. Uh, uh, so called what in. in uh, uh, dealing with virus, so kind of, kind of like a trendy uh, uh, subject right now. So, so another example, uh, example, the so-called S uh, S I R maybe uh, S in the D maybe for death model. Okay, suppose I have a right virus, right? Uh, my state space is so state space states space is so s is for uh, what they are uh, suspected if i remember uh, suspected that means it's kind of like a, like I, I i have the the, the symptom right i have a symptom uh, of, so i am being suspected that i may have the virus right if i cough probably i have covid probably i gotta do a test right but if i have a symptom that means i am being suspected 
uh, I stands for uh, infected. If I, in that means after taking the the PCR test, I know for sure I got the COVID. Uh, or be in the uh, recover. That means I am uh, yeah, healthy, uh, recover. And the, uh, of course, the D is just the die. Right, die. So I guess I call it that. All right. So I have four states. And suppose after, say, collecting the data, I end up with, uh, say, a matrix like following. Allow me to use the. Uh, the diagram so uh so let's say i have s i uh def and uh, recover okay so if i die could i go to another state no right if i die obviously I'd, i'm not superman so state one right and let's say let's say uh so from suspected, from sus being suspected, either I go back to being normal or I go to uh, to infected. So like this, right? <clears throat> and uh, so let's say, let me put the some 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 probability here, a point five and a point point five. Okay. So if I am uh, being infected probably the the uh so 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 maybe for the sake of uh if i'm being uh, suspected maybe i i don't go do any tests so maybe the following days uh i stay at being suspected so maybe uh point four point four and uh, point two maybe <clears throat> i just say uh x and b in the the, the uh, what do I want to call here? Uh, uh, health, health state uh, at day, let's say day end. Okay. <clears throat> and from uh, being say infected, either either I stay here or I uh, recover, right? Or I go to die. Yeah, does that make sense? Uh, up here. So, so here, let's say, okay, I may die with probably 0.1 maybe. I recover with good chance I will recover. So let's say 0.7 uh, and the following day, I uh, keep uh, stay at uh, having the COVID. So 1.7, then this will be uh, 0.2, all right. And if I recover, uh, where else I can go to? If I am healthy, then the, the next stage I can only go to is go to suspected or stay at healthy. So like this and uh, like this. So uh, this is uh, say uh, 0.5 maybe, this one, for example. All right, if that makes sense, yeah. <clears throat> of course, this is just a very, uh, you know, a very basic model. So you can even impose, say, from, from being healthy, I could go immediately to, to, to death, for example. Right? But here, for the sake of illustration, I would just give a, uh, a, a basic uh, assumptions, all right? And, the, uh, and so, so now, if I want to say we write this as a, a a matrix, right? So so uh, I have a suspected uh, I D N R S I D R, right? So B in point five, is that correct? Uh, four according to my four two. This is uh, two, this is four, and this is four, so this will be zero. Okay, and uh, so on uh, for the uh, I. I could uh, point two, point seven, and point one. 
So I stay here 0 0.2, 0 0.1, 0 0.7, right, zero. And I guess it's so on here. So pretty much you can fill in the, uh, the matrix, uh, pretty simple. So what is the, the, the uh, one, one important piece here is that, as you can see from say from B and S, I could go to only one of those other situations. So the sum on the row is equal to one, right? The sum on the row is equal to one because I have to go to somewhere. And in the total probability that will have to be one. All right, and uh, that is the, the another point of the the, the transition matrix. Uh, maybe just let me mention that, and we stop. Maybe uh, and, and that's, so. Let's just take it easy. Take it easy. Uh, so there is a lemma given a uh, transition matrix. Transition matrix P. I J, all right. Then we had the following sum, uh, summation on J in the state space S, P I J, this is equal to one, all right. And the pretty, pretty, I would say pretty uh, short uh, argument. Uh, so let's just, uh, Continue on. Uh, it's the first day, so let's just take it easy. So we will uh, continue on Monday. All right. Any question before? Uh, any any question? <laughs>